My name is Mustafa. I was raised as a Muslim. Through my childhood and youth, my life was controlled by violence. But then I encountered the teaching of Jesus Christ, who showed me there was a better way. He set my heart free, and now I follow him. Please pray with me for Muslims around the whole world whose lives are marked by violence. Heavenly Father, we see in the Quran and the book of the Hadith that from the earliest days of Islam, Muslims who were rejected responded with violence and revenge, and those teachings have continued over a thousand years. Muslims are taught that they are superior to all other people in every way, that they are to dominate and even conquer, and that those outside of Islam are to be devalued and dehumanized. This has paved the way for so much abuse and violence that has taken place over the centuries. But this is not just in the past, God. We see it around us today. We see the horrific violence done in the name of extremists around the world today. We see violence between Sunni and Shia and many others. We see it in the Jihad. We see the violence in the Muslim world towards people who don't agree with them. We see people who are so willing to use violence that they turn the same violence even on themselves in suicide missions. Father, we see the violence within the family or the tribe. We see the violence towards women, towards children, beatings, abuse, honor killing. We see people using violence to assert their authority at every level from governments to religious leaders, to local leaders, to even fathers and husbands, Lord. But Jesus, you have brought a better way. You said that all authority in heaven and earth has been given to you, and yet you did not come to oppress others with that authority or to lord it over them. You came to set people free. You have called us to forgive. And we can because you forgive us first. We deserve your wrath, but you made a way for us to be restored and forgiven, that we would do the same, reflecting your forgiveness, your mercy, and your grace, because we have been forgiving much. You taught that we should love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us that if anyone slaps us on the right cheek, to turn to them the other cheek also. Jesus, when they confronted the woman who was caught in adultery, you said to them, let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Jesus, you had mercy and you spared her life. God, we pray for deliverance for those who have only known violence in their life. Would you set them free, Lord? Open their eyes to the teaching of Jesus, that there is a better way to live in peace and in submission to you, that they can be free from the violence and hatred that has controlled them, that they would turn from their violent ways in repentance of their sin, and that they would know your healing, your restoration, and your salvation. Have mercy, O Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus, Amen.